We're back here in Ancona, Italy at the Messi and Poloni factory with my good friend Stefano Messi. In this fourth installment of this video series, we're going to take a look at the final steps the coaxial cable goes through before it gets shipped out of Italy, around the world, and into your home. This time on Ham Radio Tube. So, uh, this, is, this machine is called payoff. So, the big uh, iron drums, which could hold uh, 4,000 meters. 2,000 meters, depending on the size. So it can be 4,000 meters for the 0 0.200, 287. It can be uh, 2,000 meters if it's a uh, 0.400 inches. So there are plates inside here. It's a payoff, an electronically controlled machine, which is paying off the cable, and uh, we'll, be, we'll have our uh, an acceleration ramp and the deceleration ramp. So it's going through there and uh, it will be collected. Oh. Here, we are, we are making the work on, uh, on a medium-sized drum. I mean, the drums could be of several sizes. It could be wooden drums, it could be plastic drums. Uh, uh, through the payoff, we can also make uh, as, as smaller and smaller uh, shrink wrap coils, uh, or we can even make jumpers, you know, uh, according to the customer needs. So we can we can range from 2,000, 4,000 meters down to four centimeters. So everything in in between. Did you know that viewers of Ham Radio Tube can save 10% off all your Messi and Poloni purchases? You can either order from Gigaparts or directly from Messi and Poloni. United States and Canada orders also directly from Messi and Poloni will get free shipping. All you have to do is use code KNMRD at checkout. Here again, we've got the payoff. The payoff is electronically controlled. So it will uh, we pay off gently the cable uh, with uh, an acceleration ramp and a deceleration ramp. So it will pass through a compensator here in order to, to, uh, to make sure that the cable will be always pulled uh, in a very gentle way. And it's passing through here. So this is a meter counter. It's a professional one, industrial one. And uh, it uh, allows us to automatically count the meters and uh, stop the machine when we reach the, r the right amount of cable uh, to place on a roll. And here, Again, we've got the spark tester. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is being tested at 3.7 kilovolts again. So this is the third time we've got the spark tester on the line. This is the spark tester and this is the equipment where we can move. That is the production, the manufacturing of the coil. The, the coil has just been formed and uh, it will apply a string, a nylon string, Then the operator, the operator will put, put the disc. Uh, that this are uh, this operation is uh, is, uh, is uh, controlled by hand because we want that for the last time the operator will check about the quality of the cable. So so we wanted to leave it a manual thing because we could it uh, we could do it auto automatically very easily and in a very cheap way but we want to make sure that the control will be done in the last moment possible for making a check. And here, we are, we are having the shrink wrap operation. So it's passing through uh, a machinery which adds some, uh, some polyester foil. It will enter through the oven and will come out from the oven uh, thermally shrink as it comes out from the oven. And as soon as it comes out from the oven, it will, it will push the other coil in the conveyor belt. Here we can show you other sort of packaging we are manufacturing and ship all around the world. So uh, we can have coils like this. Yes, here we have placed the, uh, the coil you have seen before was with open ends. Uh, but it can be 
with our connectors assembled at both ends. So we are making this work and our, we can have coils which will be shrink wrapped again. Or we can have coils like this, these are the, the new Portal Patch 7 that is being manufactured and because we, are, we have already received a lot of orders about that. And you can see uh, it is waiting for the Porta speed to be shipped. And uh, we can have uh, bobbins of different size, it can be red ones, smaller, black ones, bigger ones. We can have also uh, wooden drums or even bigger wooden drums, depending on the size of the cable, depending on the quantity on demand. This is one, one of the jumpers we, we can deliver. For, uh, these are 10 meters, which is corresponding to 52.8 feet. So in our labels, it's always written how many feet. So uh, the goods that are intended to be exported to the United States, they got the feet in here and the meters here. For Europe, the other way around. But we always have the, the measurements in feet, and we always have the, the size, the overall diameter of the cable expressed in feet. This is another example of how we can package the goods. You know, this is for especially made for the American market. You can see here, jumpers. So it's decidedly it's for United States because uh, jumpers in England, they call it patch lead. We here, we are, this is one of the five people who are taking care of placing the connectors in, uh, in the, the jumpers. So uh, we're making any length of jumpers. You know, we have got the basic arc application on our, web, on our website, and uh, you can choose whatever you want for any, any length you need, for any connector you need, and it will be done here by expert personnel. So uh, this is one of them, is making the connection of our uh, uh, UHF FIVO connector uh, and on a, on a 10.3 millimeter cable, which is 0.405. Now, it's, a, it's made, in, it's made uh, the stripping of the jacket first, and then it's combing with a, with a second, we use a brush, toothbrush, it's combing the, the wires, the exceeding wires, so that it will be able to place the components in between the foil and the braid, and then it's combing back again the wires in order to cut them properly. Yeah, you can see the operation there, no scuffing, and, and uh, all the combat wires. And after that, uh, there is uh, the new procedure, a new uh, thing that will be cutting the dielectric and the foil, so that the, the, the inner core will be, will be uh, disclosed. Yeah. And after this operation, there will be the proper soldering process, which has to take the shortest possible time. So by using a special flux we are, you can buy in our website, uh, we are selling uh, just a, a small packaging of 2cc, a small amount of, of, uh, of flux, which will be uh, useful for several applications, but don't need to buy a big, uh, a big bottle about this flux, you know, just a uh, two cc will be enough for many applications, and the flux will facilitate uh, the uh, the soldering because uh, the bicapillarity will suck inside uh, the hole or the or the weld you are going to apply without applying too much heat. Just take a short time, uh, and uh, of course. Uh, you've got to hold in the right position uh, the pin and you should be able to see after a short time the job is done. Now he is placing together the two parts and he is it's fastening the, the end of the connector, the bottom of the connector towards the, the, the body of the connector and uh, just by two wrenches uh, to uh, wrenches or anything which can resemble a wrench. Of course, I understand that not everybody can have the same sort of wrenches, 
uh, it's possible. You can have an adjustable wrench, an adjustable spanner.